Now to former NFL running back Peyton Hillis. Michael, you had a chance to sit down with him for an exclusive interview. I, I did, Robin. What an incredible guy he is. And, and Peyton, he was on the Florida beach with his son and niece when they got caught in a rip current. What he did next, it showed more grit than anything he ever had to do on the football field, and it nearly cost him his life. It is 100% a miracle that somebody didn't die. And, you know, it's just amazing we weren't burying somebody. Former NFL running back Peyton Hillis. Peyton Hillis is loose. Sprint to the end zone. Touchdown. Spent his seven-year NFL career impressing fans with his power and speed on the field. But just five months ago, his strength put to the test. We got two grounding victims. One's conscious, one's unconscious. And they're performing rescue methods now. The 37-year-old father of three seen here fighting for his life on the beach as emergency rescue workers attempt to keep him conscious after he charged into the ocean as his nine-year-old son and eight-year-old niece were pulled out in a Pensacola, Florida ocean rip current. How do you know this individual, hunter? He's my dad. Okay, well, he's breathing right now, okay? So as long as you stay calm, we're okay. Let's go back to January 4th. You're at the beach with your family. Tell us what you remember leading up to what happened. We woke up and... The kids are all going crazy, and I was telling my family, like, I'm going to take the kids down, you know, let them play at the beach. You know, the night before, it was a bad storm, but, you know, I didn't really pay too much attention to it. Mm -hmm. And when I woke up the next morning, it was windy, but it was beautiful. Well, were there any flags? There was no flags, but then again, I don't put that on anybody. Officials telling ABC News in this case, the nearest flag a mile away, saying the absence of a flag doesn't guarantee safety. I hear my mom screaming, and so I looked at her, and she pointed out to my son, and he said, Ori and Camilla drowning. And so I didn't even think. I just reacted and started running to the water. I had a bunch of people getting swept out to the ocean. Some kids got sucked in. I think their dad went in after them. Hillis's niece and son were caught in a dangerous rip current. From the shore, he says he could see them waving their hands and screaming. Hillis said he doesn't remember seeing any lifeguards. County officials say they were patrolling the area. Hillis quickly forced to decide who to save first. I think the scariest point to me was when I'm swimming to my son and I have to pass by him because my niece is in more danger. You had to make a decision. Yes, but I knew that I had to pass him up to get to Camille first because, you know, if I didn't, you know, there's no way she would have made it. And so swam past my son and I got to Camille and she starts freaking out, you know, you know, we're going to die. We're going to die. I go, honey, you're not going to die. You know, that's not going to happen. The gentleman came and gave us a boogie board and I put Camille and my sister on the boogie board and pushed them away. And I knew that I had to come back for my son. By the time I got to him, he was pretty much limp. He didn't have any more strength in him to swim. And I'm sitting there holding him and we're in you know, seven and a half foot of water, and you're thinking, you know, that's not bad. But when you're holding a 130 pound kid, and then the waves come and about 10, 12 foot tall, and you're just sitting there, you know, you can't swim, and you're holding him, and you're seeing his eyes roll back in the back of his head, and you're just thinking, Lord, please, like, I really don't care about my life. I don't. But if we can get him out of here, then that's the only thing I'm gonna care about. After fighting for what he says felt like an eternity, Hillis makes it back to shore with his son. Things kind of broke out to where I could walk my son, you know, out of the riptide and start walking to the beach. He kind of got some of his energy back and was walking back. And I was about, I don't know, 20 or 30 yards from the beach and I just passed out. That's when EMTs performed rescue methods on both Peyton and his sister yards apart from each other on shore. Unconscious and experiencing lung and kidney failure, Hillis was airlifted to Pensacola's Baptist Hospital, where he was placed on a ventilator, spending two weeks in the ICU. When I was under, I remember I could hear everything perfectly clear, but they didn't know that I could. I don't know, it was like day nine or 10 into it, and I overhear them saying, you know, if you don't wake up here soon, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen. And so, like, I'm freaking out, like, as I'm, you know, as I'm under, but I can't move. And they have the, you know, hose going down my throat. After 10 long days under sedation, Hillis regained consciousness. First thing I remember is my mom and my daughter and my sister 
standing around me. And, you know, to their credit, I mean, they all act like everything was normal. You know, everything was fine, which calmed me down because I felt like everything was okay. But I was completely amazed that when I woke up, like I couldn't move. I mean, I couldn't move my body. I couldn't get out of bed. And what did the doctors tell you happened to you physically? Well, they said that I wouldn't probably reach full recovery for a year. I don't think my lungs will ever get back to where they needed to be. Where are you in your recovery overall? Physically, it's coming along okay. You know, mentally, you know, things in my head or stuff like that, you know, it's coming along a lot slower. You know, I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. And how does something as traumatic change you? Uh, it makes you realize what's really important. If you're not here for your loved ones, or your family, your friends, why are you here? You know, you can say, hey, I'm pursue this career or make this money or find this wife or this husband or whatever the case, none of it matters. I, I, at the end of the day, none of it matters. Is there a message in all of this for, for others out there? You, you know, you, you gotta respect the water. You gotta always be aware of your surroundings. You know, I would think if you have small children, especially under the age of 10, you know, it's very dangerous to just let your kids go out there and swim, especially without life jackets. And I know your partner, Angela, and countless others, they call you a hero. Do you consider yourself a hero? Not a hero. I think that's a very loose term that uh, a lot of people like to apply to things that happen. So what do you call yourself? I call myself a dad. And dad, indeed. Yeah. You know, Peyton's son, sister, and niece, they are all doing well. And Peyton wanted to give a shout out to the first responders and the nurses and doctors who care for him from the very moment that he collapsed. He said that they saved his life and they made all the difference in his recovery. And good thing that he is recovering and everyone involved. But I mean, to, to have that presence of mind and to know that his niece was in more danger at the time mm -hmm. as a son and to be able to save both of them and himself. He is a hero. Yeah. And he told yeah. me, he said, you know, what? I said, well, the, the, you have training, no training, anything. He said, it's just did what a parent would do. And I, I feel I would have done this for any kid, not just my own. Oh, yeah. So amazing, amazing young man. We're glad that he is okay. And for everybody out there, if you are caught in a rip current, swim parallel mm -hmm. to the shore until you're out of it. And if you could float, just relax and let it carry you until it slows down at rip currents. Do not usually go out very far. Yeah. Very important information. And also that person that came by with a boogie board, too. Yeah. Thank God oh, for that. Yeah. All right, Michael. Thank you. That was excellent. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.